The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. And now let's make two things clear. ISIL is not Islamic. Now, on Sunday, on New Year's Day, Senator Graham, the president of Egypt, el-Sisi, went right. to the al-Azhar University in Cairo and told the imams assembled there that uh, you are responsible before Allah, the entire world, I say it again, the entire world is waiting for your next move because this Ummah is being torn, it is being destroyed, it is being lost, and it is being lost by our own hands. He called for a reform of Islam. Why can't our president, our leader, say, speak truth to this situation the way that the president of Egypt just did? I think the president of the United States is undercutting the president of Egypt. We're in a religious war. These are not terrorists. They're radical Islamists who are trying to replace our way of life with their way of life. Their way of life is motivated by religious teachings that require me and you to be killed or enslaved or converted. The president of the United States tiptoes around the threats we face, and he is trying to diminish the religious aspect of this war. Why? I don't know. And he is not engaging the enemy in an aggressive fashion, which makes it more likely we'll get attacked. What he's doing is pretending to want to destroy ISIL, when in fact he's trying to get out of office uh, without having to commit American ground forces to do the job as part of a team uh, in the region because he made a campaign promise. His campaign promises, Hugh, are getting a lot of people killed. This is not a cartoon problem.